morning, Sunday 24th, here from Tato, the village of Tato. A really nice morning, we're up nice and early, so we're going to have our breakfast and head into the mountains, but uh, the owner's already been, uh, been up, early, I saw early. Up early, out in the garden here, collecting herbs. Not sure whether that's for our breakfast or not yet, but uh, we'll see. But, uh, bikes are getting loaded now, we'll have our breakfast there shortly. Have a really good day in the mountains today. We have uh, three three biking days left now. Two of them in the mountains, and the last day is coming down from the mountains, so the last day should be easy. But got a few uh, hilly days ahead, which uh, should be nice. And then we've got two, hopefully two resting days by the Iranian border. We're we'll staying in another similar place. We hope <laughs> similar to this, a bed and breakfast we've uh, we've booked. So um, should. Uh, Hopefully, be a few good days ahead, and then we've got a two-week kind of summer holiday in Iran and uh, Turkmenistan. So uh, we're not cycling there because I can't, uh, not allowed to travel, and um, without a guide. So just to keep the costs down, we're traveling in a in a van and a minibus. That should be good. And met his parents, at Pierre Kiss, and they're coming back again to visit us. So that's really great. So we should have a. Uh, 10 days I think together there in Iran so really looking forward to that now can't believe we're so close to the border now so should be good there's no um Facebook though in Iran it's all closed down <laughs> so I'm um, not sure yet how I am um, if I can or whether I can find a way to upload videos over there but I'll make them anyway and then upload them when we get to um, Turkmenistan maybe we'll see we'll see but there's no Facebook so I can't put videos on Facebook during the, the two weeks we're in Iran but Next three days you should be able to, and then we'll see what happens. Whoa, what a breakfast. This is another one of those simple moments. <laughs> what an amazing breakfast here, to sit here. Enjoy the quiet, peace and quiet mountains. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Not just cycling, it's also enjoying moments like this. <laughs> so the herbs the lady was collecting this morning, I saw her collecting them earlier. They're now in the teapot there. And there's no tea. Oh, it tastes wonderful, fresh, refreshing. <laughs> Definitely recommend this place called Old B and B in Tattoo. What a wonderful place to find. Mm -hmm. You can see here, uh, it's very. They have some very good uh, marmalade here, so I will try it. And yes, lots of good things here. Oh, leaving the bed and breakfast here. You would have known there was a bed and breakfast in there that was so delightful. <laughs> wonderful place. Wonderful, wonderful place. That's a monastery from the other side of the road now, also the side of the valley. Now we're heading up this road here. Absolutely no traffic on this side. That's what we heard from a few people now, so it's funny after so many days on main roads to all of a sudden be on these quiet roads. That'll be a nice day today. And the weather's amazing. What a great road or track. <laughs> nice to be away from the trucks for a while. That's really nice. A really beautiful place here. Probably the nicest day we've had in Armenia so far. The mountains here are just amazing. Completely soaked in sweat again. Don't know why we bothered washing this t-shirt for yesterday. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's get going. This is 
Going well, going well. We're free of the valley. 1,975 meters. here in the mountains. This is their main road. The track's not in the best condition, there's quite a few holes, but uh, at least it's mainly downhill now. It's just to uh, dodge holes and uh, keep the bikes moving. Hoping to get to a place called Kapan today, so that's 50 kilometers from Tatsu. Amazing to think that only yesterday we were on roads with big trucks and taxis and cars and all kinds of things, and then all of a sudden, nothing. After Tatsu, I think we've seen three cars today, that's all together. And they were pretty close to Tatsu. The last hour we haven't seen anything at all. Okay, it's good we've been training in Iceland last year because it's a pretty rough road. He had a pretty good biking skills to handle a loaded touring bike up these quite steep and quite rough really roads. Not exactly here, but the, where we've just been, it was really steep and rocky. I've learned now that Armenia certainly is a country with a lot of mountains and high mountains. Here comes Andrew and Jamie, that's on the road from Tatem to Kapan. Okay, it's time for lunch, we've done 24 kilometers, so about halfway on this dirt track here. Oh, sit on the blanket here, have some lunch before we carry on. It looks like to like once upon a time this was a sealed road. There's a few patches of uh, tarmac but now it's just deteriorated into a, just a gravel track. There's a few pigs in this town here. So many pigs because we have been in Turkey some places, so we'll not have seen many pigs. So, because Muslims don't eat uh, pigs, so that means it's only here. I mean, in Georgia, I think in all the parts there are more pigs, but not in the Muslim countries. The road is in pretty bad condition, really. So we just met a girl on the road there from Spain. She was having a rest. She's been on the road now for five years, believe it or not, <laughs> traveling all the way from Japan. And she's been through the Himalayas and India, Pakistan, all over the place, Iran, Oman. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So uh, that's amazing, really. To do all that on your own in five years. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And she cannot talk with other people. We are free people, but she can only talk with herself. So. That is very tough going, I would say. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. And we are doing this trip on one year, we think. Yeah. Yes. She gave us some good tips how to get through the Himalayas, and uh, it might be quite good. It's, uh, Interested when we start getting close and now we can start talking to people and getting different advice from different people what they have done so but, uh, yeah okay now it looks like the road has actually turned to um, to uh, asphalt nice tarmac road here let's see how long that lasts <laughs> let's go on the way to Kapan now this is the fastest we've been rolling today over there. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, now we're back on the highway, happy we were yesterday. 
two to my left. A few hundred meters behind the bushes here. That's actually Azerbaijan. Okay, we're carrying down the road here to Kapan. So we've got a restaurant at the campsite. And, uh, we're ready to set off on the M17 tomorrow to the Iranian border. Oh, it feels really hot now we've come down here to Kapan. Really, really warm air. No idea warm it is, but it must be at least 35 degrees now. Now this is Kapan. Doesn't look like any nice town. Oh, it looks like it looks so pretty. Old buildings and lots of closed factories. Looks like all this area is abandoned. Nowhere near as charming as the place we set up on this morning, but never mind. We have something to eat, camp, and then we'll be on the road tomorrow. Plate of chips for 300 bucks <laughs> and a big chicken. Oh, we're in the center here of Kapan. We already had a, a dinner, a quick restaurant, supermarket shopping, so we're ready for tomorrow. Okay, we made it here to Kapan. We actually arrived here this afternoon at four o'clock, and then we had some some dinner in a in a quick takeaway place, and then we thought we'd uh, oh we found a campsite. It was only three kilometers from the town, so we tried to go there, but it was three kilometers <laughs> over a very 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 steep hill. Oh, that wasn't what we needed after a long day on the bikes here on these dirt tracks. But uh, we managed to fight our way all the way to the top, and when we got there, it was closed. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so that was a waste of time. So then we came back down and we had no option just to quickly find a hotel in the town here again and uh, call it today I think and go in the show. It's been a really hot day today so I think we all need a show really and a good night's sleep because tomorrow we've got the big mountain tomorrow. So uh, now we've done three of the four mountains, there's one left. So now we've got two days now to get to the, the border and then uh, two days rest and I think we need that now <laughs> so Armenia we knew it was going to be a challenge and that's what it's turned out to be so uh, and now we're in a hotel actually quite a nice hotel and we've actually got a big bubble bath to have a rest in so it turned out okay in the end okay see you tomorrow <laughs>